Good morning, everyone. It's Yvonne back to do your bonus read. We're going to use the Wild Unknown Tarot for this reading. Okay. I feel so pumped this morning I could run a marathon. I just have to use the treadmill though because I can't get out anywhere today. So that treadmill it is. Oh dear. Um, I love my life. I don't, don't, oh, I can't believe it really where I am at this time. There is a little pinching and required every now and again to just remember. But anyway hope that you all got all the energy I did from this weekend and that beautiful, beautiful blue moon. Um, st still so much in the world that, that is left a little bit uh, unsure with the things like the election this week. So I do feel for all the people who have to make decisions this week or have already made decisions. Alrighty. Wild Unknown Tarot. We have the Magician coming first. Oh, I love the Magician. Okay, so the Magician is a card that talks about manifestation. It's like this energy of having everything you need. So often when we're going to do something, if we you know, decide we want to, for example, embark on a journey to learn a new skill. And we hold ourselves back because we think, well, okay, can I do this? Do I have what it takes? You know, a lot of people stop there because they don't have the confidence or self-esteem to go forward. Other people will stop because they don't feel that they have the physical tools to go forward. But other people will plot and plan to get to where they're not going. And that is the energy of the magician. You have everything you need to accomplish whatever you want. You just have to decide what steps you might need to take there but then for a lot of you, you can just jump in and go for it because actually you're probably a lot more skilled than what you realise you are. Not saying that you can go from, you know, being here to becoming an astronaut. And I always use astronaut as my, as my go-to place because not all of us can get from here to an astronaut, but there are lots of other things we can put in, into play. And the magician talks about being able to manifest because you already have everything you need. So we're in manifestation mode. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands coming through. The Four of Wands talks of stability. It is the card of marriage and long-term commitment. It is the card of the Twin Flame. Um, it's very much this energy of finding some sort of stability or something that you have that you didn't realise was already within you. You might have been looking for things on the outside of you. You may have been looking to how you could improve. You could have been looking for things you needed to bring in. But the universe is saying is what you actually want is within you here with the magician. You already have what you need. You've just got to find it here or recognize it maybe. All right, so we have the three of wands. So now we're completely future focused. We're not looking at the past. We're seeing the path ahead. We're now waiting for our ships to come in. This is standing on the edge of a cliff, waiting for things to come your way. Because you've already told the universe here what you want. So you've manifested something here. And I'm sort of excited because I'm like, what is coming your way? <laughs> Love. Um, okay, so we had this in the What's Cracking reading as well. Almost exactly the same sort of energy. It's like what you have been looking for all along is actually within you, but you keep going looking for it on the outside of yourself, not inside yourself. You can't find love on the outside until you found the love within. So this is very much an energy of understanding who you are and your deeper level of existence before you can find something on the outside of yourself. Okay, so look, looking through the illusion so there is something here about you finding something within yourself that you already had, but you were locked into some sort of illusion of perhaps not believing who you are. This is really powerful energy here. 
because now you've sort of peeled back the curtain, as I always say, now that you've removed the veil, now that you've taken off the mask, you can see that you're pure love. And what happens when you're pure love is you attract what is right for you. So now you're in this magician energy where you're able to bring forth this stability that you've always wanted, this love you've always wanted. It's all here for you. But you had to find yourself first and you had to understand it was about peeling back what is around you, what you think things are, what you believe things are. This is your core beliefs. This is all of these things that have kept you shrouded in secrecy is what Spirit's saying. And you found them. So let's see where this is going. All right, so we have the Hermit card coming through. Now, the, the, the Hanged Man came through in the What's Cracking reading. Sorry, I have so much energy this morning. I'm bursting out of my skin. The Hermit card, it talks the same. It's a similar energy to the Hanged Man, but very different in some ways. The Hermit is quiet time. It's about taking time away from the world to really see your inner light, which you see here, which is that light of love that you found. So many of you go outside seeking something to satisfy yourself or to fulfill yourself or to fill the gap within you. And some of you fill it with alcohol and some of you fill it with drugs and some of you fill it with all sorts of things that help you forget who you are because you don't want to face up to who you are. With the Hermit card, the universe is saying the way to find yourself is to face up to who you are, to find that light that shines within. All right, so we have the King of Cups coming through. Let's see where this is going. I still haven't moved my camera. Okay, so we have the Chariot card coming through. Strong Cancer energy here. And we have Virgo energy here. Virgo, oh, and then we have the King of Pentacles coming through. Earth signs. So we have strong Cancer, strong Virgo energy here. If we take the Cancer and the Virgo energy, we're talking about very practical but very emotional ways of feeling. The King of Pentacles is often the card of the husband. Um, that's the way he comes through for many of us. There seems to be some energy of somebody coming towards you here who perhaps has found their own inner light. Whoever this person is, they're moving very quickly with this chariot card. They're taking charge. They're coming forward after doing a lot of energetic work on themselves. So I feel like this may not just be the energy you're feeling. You may have activated an energy in someone else as well by doing your own healing. So if you're already in some sort of uh, um, commitment uh, relationship with someone here, and this could be also in regard to other people around you. If you are like healing your own energy, you heal the karmic patterns of those who've gone before and those to come. So there's a definite feeling that you are really getting into this energy of understanding how you heal others here. You've healed someone else because they're coming forward here. All right, three of pentacles coming through. Wow, with the justice card. Okay, seven of pentacles. You've manifested something here that's part of your karmic journey. You're manifesting things to come towards you here and I feel like some of you are manifesting a person a situation may not be a person you know it may be the love you wanted here because somebody who's very open and loving is coming towards you here someone who's who's been karmically bound to you or is karmically bound to you here something that you've manifested 
you've manifested as that magician here. Somebody is either manifesting you here or you are manifesting someone in. Let's just keep going. It's very strong. Whoa, we have the world card. A lot of major arcanas here, by the way. And we have another king coming in, the king of wands. Someone has here changed their energy as well. So there is some sort of karmic event here. There's some sort of energy here of healing yourself and you've healed someone else in the process. So you've taken somebody on a journey with you. I'm not sure that you're responsible for their healing so much as this person was meant to um, heal with you or heal alongside you here. Whoever this person is, they are coming up as the King of Wands. The King of Wands can be Leo, Sag or Aries. You've possibly got a water sign here who's got a lot of, um, a lot of fire in their chart and maybe some Virgo energy. I could predict your person's chart here. <laughs> I don't even know that much about astrology. Um, there is some sort of cycle now that needs to be closed out. So because two people have come together here and they've both been on the same journey and there's this karmic energy, the karmic energy needs to be, it's like the end of that karmic cycle. Something here needs to be put to bed. All right, and we have here the Daughter of Wands. There's some sort of information coming through here in regards to a person who is part of your journey. Now, it could be someone you know, but I think for many of you, this is someone new coming through here. Um, but this person is coming towards you because of the energy you're now putting out to the universe. So for those of you who have been waiting for love, let me tell you, it's really close here. Some of you have manifested something here and I feel like for many of you, this may be long-term commitment or marriage coming through. You've been waiting for this and it's about to present itself here. There is some sort of illusion you've broken through here. Look, Six of Cups. So for some of you, this is past life energy, past person energy. But whoever this person is, they're coming towards you now because they have gone through a healing process as well. The page of wands here tells me there's some sort of news coming through, some sort of passionate message, some sort of information coming through that's going to help you step on this journey further. There appears to be some sort of karmic energy that needs to be closed out now. You've come to the end of a cycle. Um, that which was known will not be known again. So I don't know why spirit is saying that. That which is known... So something about this situation, this person, where you've come from is done. You've done what you needed to do. I want to say good work because I feel that's what spirit is saying here. Oh, I want me to pull two here. Okay, so we have temperance and the moon card coming through. There is a lot of major arcanas in this reading. The Temperance card talks of divine timing. It talks about balance, things coming together. The moon talks about secrets, things yet unknown. But I feel like for some of you, this is the energy that came through in the last few days with the full moon. I feel like you know something is happening here. You know, you feel. You feel something happening here. Something is changing very, very quickly. All right, let's have a look at what we've got. We're going for a ooh, moonology card this morning. I actually feel like I want to draw one of these cards today. All right. And you know, I can't shuffle these cards, so I have to sort of close my eyes and just sort of grapple <laughs> whatever comes my way. <laughs> oh, how funny. I just realised I've got butterflies on my T-shirt. Um... So I, I didn't even think about that when I put it on this morning, but it's the energy of rebirth, isn't it? All right, what have we got? I 
Okay, what you are today was greatly influenced by your past thoughts and attitudes and your present thoughts and attitudes are the building blocks of your tomorrow. Therefore, be mindful and aware of your thoughts. Positive thoughts now will help create a brighter future because every thought is a seed. If you plant weeds, you can't expect to harvest beautiful flowers. Have an amazing day.